Introducing the AirWatch. The AirWatch has the following components. Modbus out to turn a device off. An Amphenol connector will be used to communicate between machine and AirWatch. A gas inlet with a maximum range of 50 meters. A power button which can be used to switch the AirWatch on or off and can be used to control the menu functions. A reset button which can be used to reset the AirWatch after an alarm and can be used to control the menu functions. Wireless connection to communicate with other air watches and computers. LCD display to show all the measured values. Safe. A green light shows that the air watch is on and there are no threats. You will see a red light when there is an alarm. Data logging. An SD card of 4 GB will store every second that the AirWatch is measuring at that moment for more than 6 months. Two magnets for a fast assembly in less than a minute. The AirWatch is a device that can detect toxic and flammable gases. By default, the AirWatch measures flammable gases, carbon monoxide, hydrogen sulphide and oxygen. Sensors for other types of gases are also available. SO2, CO2, NH3, PH3, Cl2, NO2 and O3. Ask your supplier for the latest updates. When the AirWatch detects toxic or flammable gases, the AirWatch has the ability to turn a device on or off. After the AirWatch disabled a machine, the AirWatch can keep checking the environment for toxic or flammable gases with the backup battery. The AirWatch can be integrated with the wireless module so it can communicate with other AirWatches in a MES network. Through the laptop, it is possible to read the real-time values. With this system, it is possible to receive the test results in a control room and automatically deactivate one or multiple machines simultaneously. The alarm can easily be reset by the employee. The employee should have a personal security meter like the multi-gas clip with the wireless option, it is possible to reset the alarm from the control chamber. The AirWatch comes with an instruction manual, a quick start guide and cable type 1 or 2. For more information, contact 7Solutions or your gas detection supplier.